Hello, so it's not the best lighting, but I was looking in the screen then because I was trying to see if the lighting was alright, but I'm having a mummy lonesome day today. So actually no, scrap that, a Megsy day, fully just me. Well, not fully, about three hours, I'd say. Do not panic about Wilfie. The breast milk is expressed and it's in the fridge and ready to be warmed up anytime by Daddy because he will take a little bottle, which makes um, life a lot easier because then I can have these little trips by myself just for a bit of, you know, self-care. Like, I had my nails done a couple of weeks ago now. can't believe it's been two weeks already since I got them done, but, yeah. I've got to try and leave it till, like, every four weeks so I'm not, like... I don't know, so it's not like another thing that I'm paying for. If it's just a once a, month, once a month treat, then it feels a bit better. But today I've got a tattoo, a few. I've got one in the barrel for Wilfie, which has taken a long time to come up with the design. It's not like I came up with it, I saw it on Pinterest. But um, it's like a little rainbow in the background and then a little baby silhouette and then Wilfred Marco underneath because he is our rainbow baby, a baby that comes after a loss. Um... And also, when Louis was leaving the hospital the day that Wilf was born to go and pick up supplies, there was the biggest rainbow ever in the, well, in the sky, but, like, in the car park, he saw it. And he took a picture, and that's in our photo album. So it's just, like, a really, like, clear memory. Like, it's so lovely. And when I saw it, I was like, that is the tattoo for Wilfie. Then there's a couple of bits I want just to add in, like, one on my little leopard thing to make it a bit girlier. Um, possibly one on my hand, but not like hand, just like wrist going on the hand, like that kind of vibe. And then one on my finger on here, which I've wanted for over a year now. Um, I'm hoping that, you know, times have moved on enough that it won't affect me becoming a midwife. But I have, I'm covered anyway, so the boat's a bit late now. The boat's gone. That ship sailed, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, so yes, and I did, just before anyone gives me mum shame, um, a, a couple of years ago when I got a tattoo for Zach when I was breastfeeding him, I did extensive research and I spoke to medical professionals and everything and they said it was fine to get a tattoo while breastfeeding. It's nothing to do with the milk. It's just the only risk that they would think of is if you got an infection from the tattoo. But obviously if you care for them and look after them properly, and I have, I'm covered, so... You know, I don't want anyone thinking, why are you getting a tattoo while you're breastfeeding? And actually, I'll dump the milk load I get after it just to be sure and then carry on as normal. So don't worry. And I have double, triple checked. She's just spent lots of time drawing up my designs and now I'm going to get them stuck on and see where we get to. Pick the sizes that we want. I'm so excited. So I can't believe we got them all. Mm -hmm. All done. Yay. So I'm out, finished. Got all the tattoos I wanted, really happy. Um, so now I'm just gonna go head home. I can't wait to see Wilf end up my boobs. They're massive. They're literally, I don't know if you can see, like full of milk. So I need to uh, get milk in, <laughs> get feeding. But I've just popped in the shop and got some digestives and a Sprite because I am starving. You know when you've had a tattoo and you're like, I need food. But the way it today worked out was Louis was going to come with Wilf to Ulverston and we were going to go for lunch after it. But I was in there for much longer than I expected, which is fine. Not Nothing bad at all. Um, we have such a good catch up, me and Geordie, and obviously there was a few I wanted, so it was like drawing them all up and sizing them and stuff. Just had to stop because I got embarrassed vlogging around people. But um yeah, so I'm just going home now. We were going to go out for lunch, but Zaki will be brought back at half five and it's half three now, so it'll be four o'clock by the time I get home. So I'm just going to listen to some 
Reddit scary stories on YouTube, it's just what I like to do. You know, like the no sleep stories and bee buster and stuff. Um, and then me and Louie will probably just have a brew and chill when we get home and then decide whether we want to go out for tea as a family of four or whether we'll just have some tea at home and maybe go to the park or something. But it does keep raining, but I can't wait to show you my tattoos properly. Good morning! I have decided to vlog today. Uh, it's the day after my tattoos. And I thought I need to turn that down because it's a. Uh, I'll get copyrighted. Got a country music song list on in the background, feeling really good. But today's my first day solo parenting baby Wilfie and baby Zaki. Um, so, for anyone that doesn't know, Zaki is 23, nearly 23 months, basically, is two on the 11th of October. And Wilfie is four weeks old today. I can't believe it's a whole month since I gave birth madness and um louis away for the day with his friends today which is nice for him and then he goes back to work on tuesday after a long four weeks off which has been lovely so i thought why not vlog my first day solo parenting so this is what it looks like so far doesn't it i've decided to be messy mum because the amount of times i go around after him tidying up toys and I think, why? And you should have seen his little face. So basically, it's this. 300 mega blocks. Louis was not best pleased when my mum brought them round. It was like a gift for Zaki after his baby brother was born. And the amount of times we only play with a few at a time. Like, oh, just get a few out, just get a few out. And I thought, do you know what? I'm going to be fun mum today. So I tipped out the whole bag. And his little face was so shocked. He was like, like... I can't believe you've just done that, Mum. So we're gonna sit and we're gonna build some brick houses. Hey, right. should we do one, two? We can build a big house. If it's big enough, we can put your dinosaurs in it, can't we? Like this. Join it like this. Where do you, where do you want to put one? Wilfie's been so happy in that chair for quite a while now which is good um, because obviously I love cuddling him but I can't sit and cuddle him all day because I've got Saki I need him to feel included and everything yes baby so we've tidied away the bricks now and I've put what's the matter I've got his iPad on because Wilfie is ready for a feed. So I think I'm going to use the iPad when I need feed time with Wilfie so that Zach's occupied and then I can focus on feeding Wilfie because obviously it's very important. Don't want a hungry boy. So it's half 11 now. So we're going to go out and meet some friends later at the park on Marnie. There's something going on, like a um, festival thing. Um, like stalls and games I don't know really I, I don't know <laughs> but we're gonna go and I'll give Zaki some dinner first so I've just started some oats soaking and I'll put some honey and chai seeds and fruit with that um because no doubt he'll have some treats at this thing we're going to and uh yeah we'll give Wilfie a feed so we're feeding you're playing and you've got your iPad on and I've got Grey's Anatomy on as well bit of a Megsy treat while I'm feeding um so we're all happy and I think I'm low-key obsessed with Grey's Anatomy. I've been watching it all through my pregnancy. I think, what am I on now? Season uh, 12, episode 14. What is it, darling? Mummy, help. And, yeah, I was even waking up in the night and I was thinking, I wonder what happens to Jackson and April and stuff like this and the, new, and the baby and stuff. Okay, darling. Mummy can't come right now because I'm feeding, but why don't you bring it up here and we'll do it together? So yes, we're all we're all happy. <laughs> no, we are. It's like he just it's a little bit hard for him still at the moment when I've got to focus on sitting and feeding Wilfie because he's like, well, why am I not getting attention? But we're doing our best. Day one, going strong. So 
well already I've chickened out a bit it's getting closer to the time I'm due to go out to that festival thing in the park and I'm a bit nervous because there's a lot of roads and I'd have to walk there with the pram and with Zaki like I could drive but it's around the corner so it feels silly but then it's a bit of a mission as well so I'd be like walking with the pram and I'm Zaki and I'm worried that he'd run out into a road because obviously he's not even two yet like he's good at it but that's when it's me and him so I don't want him to be like rebelling because I've got the pram as well so I might just walk down to the local park which is literally down the road we go basically every day so Zach knows where we're going but Wilfie's just had a nappy change he's had his feed Zaki's got the iPad with pepper on so I'm going to make his dinner now while I can give him that and then probably change Zaki's bum get the bag ready and go out but I'm definitely going to start doing the bag the night before because it would be amazing if the bag was just ready and I could just go out the door so learning slowly but surely but also we had the health visitor around this morning Wade Wilfie four week mark obviously uh, he was born two weeks early obviously in the 91st cent percentile he was nine pound eight and today with just my milk alone he is um, £11.14 ounces, so yeah, the breastfeeding journey is going really well. I'm really pleased and it's given me a bit of a spring in my step because obviously it's been quite hard work, not in terms of like getting milk and stuff. I'm really lucky that my flows and my supply is really good, so it's not been a trouble with that, but it's kind of like the colic, the wind, the, he's been in pain a lot, so it's been like trying in for call, didn't work, and then I've cut out dairy now to see if that works. Um, so slowly but surely we're just trying things and he is getting better like he's being able to be put down now oh might have spoke too soon but anyway i need to make zaki's dinner while i've got two minutes so this little one couldn't wait until mummy had finished zaki's dinner but i'm just gonna finish it with uh chai seeds and honey but these are the oats that i soaked and just some grapes and then i'm just gonna finish with them so this is real life, breastfeeding one and giving the other one dinner on the settee. Yes, he's not in his high chair, but sometimes he eats better when he's not like, con what's the, contained? Contained in his high chair. So I'm just spoon feeding him that. He's got his iPad on. Some people might not agree, but this is a real, real life parenting the two for the first time by myself. So if it's not structured and it's not, going by the rules then I don't really care because I'm just feeding both my boys making sure they're fed and happy put your sunglasses on oh on mummy like this right you put them on then let me help Oh, you look so cool. Oh my goodness, Vogue, Vogue. <laughs> the pepper's going in the water. Brave peppers. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Are they going for a swim? solo play in the park is literally in my eye shot it's a tiny little enclosed bit for the smaller kids but I'm never like more than like shoulder distance from him so it's a bit weird letting him play by himself but we need to feed Wilfie so I'm just watching and letting him crack on so it's a bit nerve-wracking it feels a bit emotional because he's happy to just like go and crack on and play but it's really good but it makes me emotional but he's doing really well apart from chucking his snacks on the floor but we can move on from that it definitely feels like it's gonna rain. So I think we're gonna get back just in time. I haven't got a coat. Zach's only got his hoodie with the uh, hood. <laughs> the hoodie with the hood. And obviously, oh, it is raining. Oh God, we need to get home quick. Feels like it's gonna be a bad one as well. The sky looks pretty gray. But at least we'd remember our first outing as a three, wouldn't we? 
back to the vlogging camera now. Can you believe that I forgot to take my vlogging camera out when I charged it all morning? That's why the air quality was a bit different in my phone. We got caught in the rain, didn't we, fella? We wouldn't have, but he decided he was tired and didn't want to walk, so sat on the pavement for a little while. Tried to encourage him to walk, but then I, I could feel it getting heavier, and I was like, right. So I had Zaki in the, Wilfie in the sling, Zaki on my hip, and we were just like walking head down, like, come on. Didn't want Wilfie getting soaking, but somehow, well, not somehow, he's wrapped quite well in here. Oh, you want your snacks? All right, baby. Let's get your snacks open. But a girl that I know, she was walking at the same time with her baby. She was like, had a mum with her and she went, do you want me to give you a hand walking back to the house? But I was like, no, it's fine. Because I'm trying to do everything independently today. And Louis always says that I need to, um, there you've got rice cakes in there, haven't you? He always says I need to accept help more. Um, but I think it's just like a thing where I want to prove to myself that I can actually do it on my own because I've been that stressed this whole maternity well paternity leave that Louis's been off for that I'm not going to cope when he goes back to work and I know I will because you just do you have to what other choice have you got but then at the same time it's like what if I don't <laughs> so this is the extra milk I got when I was feeding so I got this from the other the other boob I was feeding on the left and got this from the right which is cool so I'll bag that up and freeze that we've got one sleepy boy over there and this sleepy boy is not giving in to the nap just yet, so we'll see what happens. But it is half two, so if I let him nap later, it's just making it harder for myself at bedtime. Because I don't think Louis going to be back till like 10ish either. So it's, it'll just be me that's like, why is he still up at nine o'clock? But yeah, we'll we'll see what happens. But I'm just going to make a brew and watch a bit of Grace and Anatomy. <laughs> this is maternity life for you, I'm telling you. But um. Yeah, I always think, oh, is it too much screen time, this, that, the other, but, you know, he's had his milk and his eyes are getting sleepy and we've obviously played with the bricks this morning and read some books and played with toys and then been to the park, so I'm thinking if he has a nap now, hopefully, then we can go and see my nana, his great nana, absolutely loves, loves seeing his great nana, so, yeah, hopefully that can be the plan, but if it doesn't work out, We'll just see what else happens today. So we're back in the house now. It's seven o'clock and normally Zaki would be, you know, bathed pajamas and kind of getting ready to go to bed with a bottle for half seven. That's his normal bedtime. But of course, things are going to be a little bit delayed tonight, not sticking to normal routine. We only just got back from Nana's about 20 minutes ago, half an hour or so. Because um, I think we went there at like half three-ish or something. He wouldn't sleep all afternoon here, would he? And then he fell asleep in the car and then I carried him into Nana's and he just kept sleeping and sleeping and sleeping and I kept trying to wake him up but he was in such a deep sleep because he didn't have a good sleep last night either that he was just like, you know, proper zonked, proper out of it. Are you trying to get your socks off, darling? Mummy will help. Um, so yeah, he slept for a long time. He was still asleep at like half five. So Mummy will help you get them socks off. Um, so yeah, I think, you know, it's tea's in the air right now, we're just doing a little freezer tea for ease. Um, literally a, a vegan sausage roll. He's not vegan, but I just have them in for my dairy free time. Um, there we go, better. And some little herby potatoes and some beans. Um, he has had fruit and oats and chai seeds and things like that today, so it's fine. And let's be real, what mums don't do a chuck together freezer tea sometimes. Little Wilfie's in the cart, in the little Moses basket. He's been changed and fed. And I'm gonna make a brew, and then get Zaki in the high chair, and then think about bath time. Which I'm a bit nervous about. I think I'll have to do bath time either with Wilf in the bouncy chair upstairs, or with him in the uh, sling. We'll just see how it goes. Also, I've just looked at the <laughs> the high chair. Is anyone else just treating it like a stand to put folded clean clothes on sometimes? So I need to sort that as well before his tea's ready, before we can sit in. <laughs> I'm going decaf tea as well because um, I've heard that caffeine massively affects how your baby settles and tummy and stuff. So, But the mug's right, tea is always a good idea. That's the air fryer you can hear, but this little one seems to always decide when mummy's cooking tea or making a cup of tea that it's cry and cuddle time, but I don't mind. I'm quite quickly learning, well, actually, 
I was going to say quite quickly learning to do everything one handed but that's mum life anyway isn't it not just new when you've got a toddler and a newborn but I feel like I'm having to do it more lately I've not even got the beans on yet and it's like three minutes to go I just whack them in the microwave but I'm on oat milk as well I love oat milk I've tried soya almond and oat milk and oat milk's the only one I like I think it's dead creamy isn't it it's rich so oh, I'm so looking forward to this brew I nearly caved and I had one at Nana's but I was like do you know what don't go back to the dairy brew just for the sake of really needing a brew because I'm trying to give this a go properly you know so yeah but yeah we'll get his tea sorted and see if this little man will settle for a minute and then yeah crack on burnt most of the potatoes so he's only got a bit of them with tomato sauce went for sweet corn instead and here's the sausage roll so we'll see how he gets on and then give him something to eat afterwards like some fruit and maybe a little biscuit What about this bit? Sausage roll. You give it a blow. Mummy, help look. Watch. Oh, ready? No. So we've got the bath running, and we've got Wilfie set up here. Is that your baby's up here? We're gonna go for a bath. Come on then. So Wilfie. I can keep an eye on and make sure that he's okay. Yeah. And mister, we're running your bath. Oh. So I am all slipped back because I've put hair mask in. Look, I've always had these bald patches like my whole life, just like my hairline. But then after pregnancy, they always get so much worse. So yeah, they're already pretty bad and I'm not looking forward to that. But just so you know, that's what that is. But um. I hope Zach wasn't in any of that, being in the bath, I'll double check. And then Wilfie is so chilled while we're just decide waiting for Zach to decide he wants to get out the bath. But it's much later than usual. Like I say, he's normally in bed for half seven and it's like nine o'clock now. But it's fine. You know, he had a really late nap, so I expected it. But yeah, Wilfie's been a little dream, which has made first bath time a success. One chilled out little dude in there. Last night and today are the first time we've used grape water for him. Like, not a lot throughout the day because you can do it up to six times, I think. I think we've probably done it like, we've done it t twice today. Oh, you want to get out now? We've done it twice today and it seems to have settled him like crazy. Right, wait, wait. Gorgeous little boy, fresh out the bath, let's see ya. Did you have a nice bath time? Ready for pyjamas and milk? Yeah? Come on, we have a kiss. Mm. I stole one. I stole a kiss. Daddy Pig shows George and Pepper a drawing of what the real house will look like. Something is missing, says Pepper. Oh, we'll never know because you've skipped ahead. Where's the bull? Oh my goodness, where are the swings? Swing? Good boy, and what about the sun? Dad. That is Dada Pig. What about the sun? Good boy, yes. Yeah, yeah the sun goes in the sky. Good boy. Grandpa Pig, you grab in then. Good lad. Should we get you into bed? try and tidy up downstairs a bit depending on how Wilfie settles. We would have settled quicker upstairs with Zaki but then just at the end Wilfie woke up and wanted a feed so then obviously Zach was really upset that I was cuddling Wilfie and he was in his cot but I had to because he needed a feed so so I'm going to tidy up this mess down here. It's not as bad as it could be. Get something in the air fryer. I was going to order a takeaway tonight for myself to celebrate getting through the first day with two under two by myself but I just I just feel like making something that we've got in the freezer so it's quick and also I forgot I was going to order a pizza and it's like I'm dairy free now so I don't, I don't fancy ordering a fake cheese pizza I want a real drippy cheese pizza <laughs> it's worth it for this little guy but yeah see what I come up with and then just put Grey's Anatomy on and edit a vlog that I need to do and wait for Louis to come home I guess 
So Louis is home now, which means I have successfully done my first day of parenting. First solo day of parenting. And smashed it. <laughs> Can you say that about yourself? I'm proud of myself. I've been nervous about it and I do feel like I've smashed it. But I thought, while well, I've got two minutes, I've just fed Wilfie. He's back down in the Moses basket. That grape water is, it's making him like a different baby. He's so settled. Um, Anyway, I thought I'd show you my tattoos from yesterday because that was just like over and done and I thought I've not even shown you but I've been keeping cleaning them today in any spare minute I've got and then just putting on Parma's cocoa butter. I used to use the panthum all the time but I prefer um, cocoa butter now, the Parma's one. So these are my finger ones, the new ones. Such a random little dots. It was just, yeah, last minute decided it but that one I've wanted for ages. Then... The little sunburst on my wrist. Then we've got the Wilfred Marco one at the back. And then I've just got the, just had that peony added to make the leopard a bit girlier. And that's that. Oh, Louis giving Wilfie a kiss. So anyway, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the night with my husband and my baby and my sausage roll and homemade chips. I don't know why I did that. Peace out.